Okay, here we have a 1999 Toyota Avalon 3.0. I have a code 401, insufficient EGR flow. So I'm uh, checking here that uh, the vacuum system is working properly. This gauge here is hooked up just before the um, just before the PWM vacuum switching valve. And this gauge is hooked up after the PWM vacuum switching valve. And this readout on the oscilloscope, you can see zero volts here. This is the voltage across the connector at the PWM, PWM switching valve. Here is the PWM switching valve. You can see I've got a T right here before it, leading up to my first vacuum pump. I've got a T after it, there's the EGR. T after it, leading to my second vacuum pump. And you can see I have two pins in the connector. I have my oscilloscope hooked up across the two pins on on channel two. I'm using a 10x probe, so I've got two volts per division. And the seconds per division is 0.2. Okay, so there's that means that this is a two seconds per sweep and that each one of these gradients is two volts. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and goose it. So you can see there is a um, there is a relationship between throttle position, the vacuum after the PWM switching valve, and the voltage going into the PWM switching valve. You can see that the vacuum pressure going into the valve is pretty consistent at about six pounds or six inches, and the vacuum after the valve. Uh, will start to click up a little bit as I uh, give it throttle. So here's before before the valve, pretty consistent. And after the valve, and then here's the voltage going to the valve. So you can see that the uh, gauge after the valve and the voltage into the valve are related.